Hey everyone, welcome to It Tastes Different Gaming Appetizers. And what are we talking about tonight? Well, Anna Perina, the dog food. Oh, I mean, sorry, the publisher. Uh, uh, basically, the entire team has walked out. So the entire Anna Perina, uh, per, Perina interactive team has left the company after its executives walked out. Uh, Anna, Anna Pura, or however you say it. Anna Pura. Anna Perna. Anna Perna. There you go. Anna Perna. Uh, Anna Perina. Sorry, not the dog chow, but Anna Perna. <laughs> Perna. Interactive. They left. All right. According to Bloomberg, apparently the video game publisher's president, Nathan Gary, that's one person, not two. So, in case you're confused, uh, had been negotiating with the, the Anna Pura, Pura, Purna Pictures founder, Megan Ellison, to spin them off. Uh, into their own entity. A uh, company spokesperson confirmed to Bloomberg that the parties had explored the possibility of a spinoff, but their decision broke down. Gary and the publisher's other executives had resigned and walked out as a result, and the team's other members had followed suit. All 25 members of Annapurna Interactive team collectively resigned. The team said in a joint statement, this is one of the hardest decisions we've ever had to make and we do not take this action lightly uh you know basically uh, if you're not if you don't know who the anna Pur uh, purina uh, fuck whatever the hell their name is anna purina interactive is uh they're they're basically uh, like any other publisher they're a publisher mainly where they publish they do they help development teams um they do qa marketing distribution things of that nature right uh, they partner with developers and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, developers that they're partnered with currently are kind of scrambling to figure out what the hell is going to happen. Bloomberg says Hector Sanchez, uh, the co-founder, had assured developers that the company will honor their agreements. Sanchez has been at Epic Games for the past five years, but he recently rejoined the publisher as its president of Interactive plus new media. Uh, Anna Purna will also reportedly hire new staff members to replace those who left, essentially building a brand new team. Our top priority is continuing to support our developer and publishing partners during this transition. Ellison uh, told Bloomberg News. We're committed to not only our existing slate of games, but also expanding our presence in the interactive space as we continue to look for opportunities to take a more integrated approach to linear and interactive storytelling across film and TV, gaming, and theater. Ta-da! So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know. It seems like there'd be a little bit more than that, but uh, they had, a, you know, they couldn't agree on whatever, you know, one wanted to take the company one direction, the other one, and apparently everybody else that worked there wanted to take the company the other direction and they couldn't come to a consensus. So the other one said, all right, I'll take my ball and go home. And everybody said, I'll follow you out the door. And so that's pretty much what happened uh, in a nutshell. <laughs> so <laughs> apparently Megan has other ass, uh, uh, Alice, uh, has other, uh, direction that she wants to take this company to be more of like a publisher not just for gaming which it sounds like maybe nathan gary wanted it to be more of just uh what they've been doing right with just gaming publishing you know and it sounds like the reason why he wanted to spin it off is because he probably wanted to spin it off to have that gaming division and then she can do whatever else with the rest of it right with the whole tv shows and movies and things of that nature um but she didn't want to go that direction. She wanted them to be all encompassing. So I, I would suspect that's what I assume. Uh, but let's go around and see what everybody thinks. Pat, what do you think? Are you missing out on the dog chow? I know you got two dogs at home. Are they sad? <laughs> they don't eat no Annapurna. You know, well, they might eat the cat, but you know, from there, they're stray, right? Because that was one of the ones they published for them, I think. Yeah, stray. Yeah. I mean, we don't know the details, right? We just know that two of the three, what? co-founders of the company have decided to leave and take the entire 25 person staff of that Annapurna interactive division, because it's like a, it's like a division of like Annapurna pictures or something like that, which I didn't even know there was a movie studio behind them, but whatever. Um, 
and supposedly Megan Ellison is like one of the richer of them, from my understanding. She's a daughter of a billionaire or something like that. <laughs> I'm like, wow, okay. So, you know, those two co-founders and 25 of those people are probably going to go start their own studio, right? We'll hear about their studio in the coming weeks. We started, we started Anna Burina Studios. I don't know. You know, we started whatever, the new studio. Uh, you know, so what, you know, I don't know. It's it's weird because they're not really a developer. They're just a publisher. So hopefully the people that left have money to start a new publishing company that can spend money without having a product for years, right? Because that's what they do, right? They have they help them with QA and development costs and marketing costs and help them with a lot of costs and hope to recoup that money, right? They probably get like first dollar of every sale or whatever to pay back their bill, their expenditures on the movies or games, I mean. Uh, so, I mean, I, I don't know how, I mean, I guess... Anna Perna Pictures can just shave some staff off to go into others to go over there to help them meet their um, requirements that they put for these other other people, right? Because uh, they've got, I think they've got like five or six games in the back burner. I, I think they're supposed to be working on publishing and doing stuff for the new Blade Runner Labyrinth game. Um, another, the Townfall, the Silent Hill Townfall. They're supposed to be working on publishing that one. This, there's just a list of a few others and, and something called Project D. So I don't know. Uh, how do you, how do you, you got to take a staff of, I'm assuming Anna Perna Pictures has people that can do the same tasks. You know, I don't know how well they know how to market a video game. I guess if you can market a movie, you might be able to market a video game. I don't know. I've never been in that side of the industry, so I have no clue. Um, But, you know, <sighs> There's, I guess there's been concerns of abuse and toxic work environments and things like that. Uh, there's all kinds of weird stuff around this. It just seems really weird that the entire studio plus, you know, the two two of the three co-founders plus the entire studio would just go, I'm done. Uh, there's a plan in place. I mean, it almost has to. Why would 27 people give up a job to, for nothing, right? Uh, because they all quit, which means they get no severance. They get nothing like that. They just like, we're done and walk out the door. Um, jo- you know, I don't know. Maybe it's horrible there. They could be running that place into the ground and treating everybody like furniture instead of people. You never know how stuff like that goes. Um, I'm pretty sure this is probably going to hurt their business one way, whether you look at it or not, because as a potential game, would you want this? company representing you and marketing your product if all of a sudden they have mass exodus of their entire entire team not just a chunk right yeah their entire team <laughs> and they're a fairly young company right you said seven years like 2016 or something nick was it said something like that or uh and a print of pictures started in 2011 right but the game and the game portion of them their game they started what seven years ago or something uh Anna, annapurna interactive was founded in 20 or yeah, the company is a division of the pictures and it was founded in 2016. Okay. So like seven, eight years, seven years. Yeah. So, so I mean, I don't know. It's uh, to me, we'll probably hear more come out in the wash in the following weeks, you know, as people start posting on their Twitter accounts and their social media and somebody speaks to the press. Cause I mean, this is fairly, you know, fairly recent news that we that we got this. So there, we don't have all the details. It's just eking out as we just push more into it. More and more little things are going to come out. Like it's, I don't know what they want to do. I'd like to know what they want to do to see an entire 25 person staff plus two co-founders leave. Um, is the one co-founder really that mean of a person or they really, what was the directional difference that they had to, to cause this? I know, like you said, they were trying to negotiate to spin off their own little studio or own little division, and that didn't go well. And um, I don't know. Maybe they're just hemorrhaging money. The game industry, as we've said before, has been in shambles here lately, even though some of these companies are raking in record profits, record profits. But I don't know. It's really hard to tell right now to judge what's going on. But usually when your entire staff leaves, that's not good for the parent company or the company in general. Usually some bad stuff's going on. and. We'll find out. What do you think, Shane? Are you ready to eat some of that dog food? 
Uh, I prefer cat food. Got a little more flavor into, you know, fish, chicken. So uh, meow mix rather than uh, oh, yeah. arena. Meow, 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 meow. No. Uh, I don't know how to feel about it because it's kind of an odd thing. Lately, all we've gotten is layoff after layoff after layoff after layoff. Uh, but this time, it's people just saying, you know, like Nick said, taking my ball, I'm going home. And that's and that's apparently what has happened here. Um, you know, they wanted to spin it off its game division into a whole new thing. So I'm taking that as, you know, we want to we want to have a little more focus and control of the games. You know, that's the way I see it. And I think that's a good thing. Problem is, can these 20, 25, 27 people, can they do it on their own? Can they afford to create, a, you know, create a, what they want to create? You know, not having the backing of, uh, you know, the company that put out uh, the food porn movie. Uh, so, what's a sausage party? That's the movie that uh, Anna Perina put out. Sausage. So, I mean. I mean, they're Hilarious. living on that Sausage Party movie and its sequel, uh, whatever the hell that was called, Sausage Party Hot Buns or something. Um, you know, I, I want to be I want to be mad at the company because that's typically what happens is you know greed and they lay off and that's it. Now we got people. You know, I don't know if it was uh, purely uh, they just did not like. You know what was happening there. That's why they wanted to spin off to their own thing, or if they were just, you know, they were just trying to get more money and whatever else. Uh, like you said, there's, there's going to be more stuff comes out of this because you don't see too many stories where people are just walking off their jobs uh, like this, uh, especially in this kind of a market. From you know, Sonic. Yeah, you'll see a Sonic restaurant in the news. All the employees walk out, but. You don't get that too often in uh, in the in the game industry, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, you know, I mean, Stray is the last thing I remember coming out of this area. So, and that was an amazing game. Uh, that's been a bit. I don't know what did you say they were working on now. There's a <clears throat> they're working on quite a bit of stuff, but there's a Silent Hill Townfall game that they're. Oh, that's I totally forgot up. that was even a thing. Yeah, Blade Runner twenty thirty three Labyrinth mm. and some other yeah, stuff. Yeah, that like one the, I remember. They got six or eight different ones, but they did. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, anything recent that they've done that's halfway decent, I've not played any of this stuff on this list. Yeah. Like, like I have not seen any. I mean, they've got some weird games listed here. Like, so in twenty twenty four, supposedly they did a game called Wonder Stop, Ghost Bike, Bounty Star. Uh, flock, uh, Lorelei and the laser eyes, indie. open road, open roads. That's one we've all heard about. Open yes, roads. yeah, I do remember that one. But yeah, and so, then twenty twenty three was thirsty suitors. <laughs> oh, I remember that one. Zero thirsty, oh, thirsty suitors. sisters. Yeah, thirty suitors. Thirsty suitors, though. Is it suitors or sisters? Suitors. suitors. Ah, suitors. So, um, be careful yeah. how you Google that. Yeah. So, so. yeah, I mean this. I mean, I'm looking through their, their games list here, and they've it's very indie. Stray is probably the biggest one I see on here, um, which you know we all reviewed, and it was an amazing game. We all loved it, beautiful, so on and so forth. But uh, I I would really like to know a little bit more on how the um, how, how the walkout happened, as far as a little more detail. What was said? What was disagreed upon? What was being asked of? Uh, you know, because all we got is we wanted this. We didn't get this. We walked away. You know, there's got to be a lot more than that for, you know, 25, 27 people to risk, you know, their, you know, their families. You know, I don't know if they have families, but I'm sure out of 27, I'm, some of them have families. So uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a very weird story. Uh, you know, I wish all of them the best, but, you know, if you're walking out, that's that's on you. I mean, you, you know, you don't get, you know, any, any stocks and bonds and, you know, severance and all that crap. You're, you're boning yourself on that. So, but good luck to you. 
I mean, if you're standing on principles for something that was against your principles, truly against your principles, not just some bitchy, whiny stuff, more power to you. We need more more of that for true principles, things that really matter. So, but what about you, Nick? Stray to all, all hopes are lost now, isn't it? No, I mean, they just published them. So, yeah, you know, know, the developer can find a different. I publisher. know, but that's the only game I could think of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's it's yeah, it's weird, but um, you know, clearly they had some sort of reason. Yeah. You know, they wanted to take it in different directions, so <clears throat> Yep. I I would imagine that they probably did have a plan or there was some sort of plan already. Yeah. Uh yeah. if things went south, right? Saying like, "Hey guys, you know, if if negotiations break down, you know, I'm going to, I, this is my plan, you know, and everyone else is like, yeah, I'll follow you out the door. Yep. And then yep. If Megan ain't ready to cut a check, we're out. What's the plan? What's the plan? Yeah, we'll they got to, right? The, the gaming industry is so, you know, in rough state right now that people quitting a job in the gaming industry is very risky. Like, you're going to have trouble finding oh, yeah. another one. So, yeah. But, you know. Like I said, if you know they're they're sitting on some sort of a principle, then you know it sucks, but go for it. You know, do what you you have to do for yourself. So do what you think is right. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, I don't know. Let us know down in the comments below what you all think. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Helps out. Do us a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with new videos that we do all the time. We'll see you next time. See ya. 